quick post commentary note before this video begins. I am fully aware this video looks like crap and I am sorry for that. Um, like in the beginning or opening parts of this video, I go over like a new little recording thing that I'm trying out and it failed utterly. In retrospect, I probably should have attempted this on Danganronpa first instead of Until Dawn because Until Dawn has auto saves and Danganronpa doesn't. But, eh, you live, you learn. So, yeah, in short, this video is just kind of god-awful because, well, A, OBS decided to not record it in 12... Or, not 12, well, yeah, um, well, no, uh, 720p, 60 frames per second, and, um, also, the resulting file was not compatible with Sony Vegas Movie Studio for some reason, which is what I was trying to avoid happening by switching to OBS in the first place. So, yeah, there's, there's that. Yeah. Yeah. And then because of that, I had to uh, re-encode the video. So that was a shot to the quality itself. And yeah, here we are. So yeah, um, hopefully this will not be happening in the future. Well, I know it won't be happening unless I can iron out everything with uh, OBS. Otherwise, I'll just go back to uh, using the Elgato capture uh, software and just deal with the desync issues as they come. They're not that bad to deal with. It's just that means I'm going to have to be a little more vigilant when I'm editing. So, yeah. All right. On to the video. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Until Dawn. Just doing this so that we don't have to deal with, like, the, oh, yeah, new stuff every time. So, yeah, let's play Until Dawn. Going against my better judgment here and doing a new recording setup to deal with the admittedly easy to deal with desync issues I've had. So here's hoping nothing goes terribly wrong. Anyway, let's go. Josh, he's got to have it. And what is all that? It may have taken him down to the mine. I was down there. It was horrible. There have been a cave-in in the 50s, I guess, and these miners got trapped down there. Um, what is that? Huh? This is the safe room, M. Please. Please. Fuck, I can't do this. Oh, you did the right thing. Keep an eye on her. I'll be back soon. Chapter 9. Despair! Two hours until dawn. Alright. High intensity door locking. Action. For the love of Christ, I cannot see. Wow. It's a freaking cloudy day. Why is there such a bad glare? Eh, no matter. I'm too lazy to deal with this. So <laughs> if I miss anything, then I miss it, I guess. But all right, here we go. Walking down the hallway of the doomed. Let's just go. Oh, yeah, we were here before. I guess I can use this time to pick up things I might have missed, but I don't think I missed much in this area. Famous last words. Well, I know I got the things that were here. All right, we're going, we're going. We have to save Josh. Yeah, I remember this place. I mean, I still find it weird that it's like, after the fire, homeboy here just teleports to the frickin', uh, 
whatchamacallit. Oh no, the wolves are gone. Oh no, this is the worst future. But yeah, homeboy teleported to the freaking like, basement of the lodge. And then it's like, oh yeah, there was a series of tunnels underneath. You know, I just kind of almost got killed because of fire, and now here I am. I mean, it would have been nice if I could have seen your journey there, but I guess they wanted to build suspense, like, did he die? Even though the game will be more than happy to tell you if someone dies. More than happy to tell you. Like, very, very happy. Elated, even. So, yeah. Flashlight, guide me. Thank you. Oh my god, I'm actually using the flashlight effectively. Who would have guessed? I mean, it is chapter 9 of a 10 chapter game. I mean, it's about damn time I figured out how to use the flashlight. Alrighty. What do we have over here? I mean, I don't know why you would opt for a uh, torch when you have a perfectly usable flashlight, but okay. Well, I guess, you know, like, they are afraid of fire, so there's there's that, I guess. They can keep the spookies away for a bit. Good yeah, sawed-off shotgun, why not? Alrighty. I don't know where I'm walking. There we go. Okay. Let's flip and go. I explore what's... Yeah, I think I did effectively explore everything that was being, like, held here. Oh, the one thing I am worried about this new little setup I'm doing is how much space it will take so I can kind of gauge, like, how much space I'm going to use up with, like, the other way I was doing this. But this is brand new. Probably should have tested this out <laughs> before I just went into, like, a actual important video. But, eh, whatever. Am I missing anything? Wait, wait, wait. Told him. Well, that doesn't look good. Yes, that, that does look dangerous, in fact. Okay. It appears Mike is going to be attacked by a Wendigo. <laughs> that is dangerous. Anything, anything, what's this? Makeshift graveyard. All the crosses bear the same date, 24 February 1952. What happened to make so many people die on the same day? Oh, I might have missed out on a clue. Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. That that was going to come and say something. Evelyn Daniels, Adam White, and Charles Miller. Evelyn? There were female miners in the 50s? Well, yeah, women's. Yeah, 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 that is after, like, the women's right movement. Because, like, in the 50s, that, yeah, that, that sort of became the civil rights movement after that. Okay, so, yeah, I guess there were women minors. That's a little strange to, uh, whatever, whatever. It's the 50s. It's not, like, the 1800s or anything. <laughs> yeah, loud-ass shotgun to break a lock. There's my wolfie buddy. The best butterfly effect. The best. The wolf guided Mike around the sanatorium. To be fair, 
Sanatorium's fairly linear. You don't really need your wolf buddy to help you, but he's there for moral support. All right, let's follow our wolf buddy. Is there anything I'm leaving? Uh, probably not. God, I wish I had a wolf buddy. Or just a dog in general. Dogs are good. Dogs are very good. I befriended a stray dog not too long ago. I believe she was only my friend because I had food. And she was very hungry. A cat is fine, too. Wouldn't mind having one of both. Hmm. Come, come on, Mike. Right. There goes nothing. Awesome. You'll be fine. Come on. High intensity door pushing action. There we go. Wolfie does not care about your mess, Nathan Drake. All right. Let us go deeper into the depths of hell. Because why not? Come on. What this be? Oh, great. Okay, doctor's report. Uh, Dr. Capcart, the patients were first admitted to Blackwood's medical facility five days ago. During this time, we have run a number of tests, both psychological and physi physiological, just in the opposite order. The results have been extraordinary in contravention of common medical expectations. So observe pallor, skin dispigmentation, severe vitamin D deficiency. Oh, no! Social dysfunction, longer than average rehab Readaptation period, post traumatic event, interpersonal behavior, erratic, violence toward orderlies, three attempted assaults, one attempted scratching, and cut their fingernails, yo. Symptoms expected but not observed. Uh, malnutrition, scurvy, average something, index was only within 3% of normal expect, uh, expected values. They should be dead! Uh, frostbite, patient stimulus response within acceptable bounds. On reverse. Uh, frailty weakness, dis. Tension of tibia, fibia, and humerus. Observed unusual growth in strength. One patient lifted 725 pound weights. Take that, John Cena. Uh, suggested action. Place under strict observation or strain strongly recommended. Change from one orderly to three orderlies. 24 hour a day observation. This is not the menu where I want it to be. Oh, God, all that updated. Okay. Um... The report by Dr. Bowen notes several serious irregularities in some recent patients. It appears that the patients are undergoing some sort of physical change. Update. Another death that occurred on the 24th, February 1952. There must have been a massacre. Oh, did this update because of the grave? Oh, okay, yeah. Dr. Bowen was killed on the same day as those buried in the makeshift graveyard. <gasps> Dr. Bowen? What happened? And see, I know an actual Dr. Bowen. That, that was my physics professor. So this hits close to home. Also, damn. I cry when canines deserve to die. Actually, no, it didn't deserve to die. No dog deserves that.
So you, you haven't put together the thing yet, Mike? Seriously? What went on here? They were turning the freaking Wendigos. Let us out. We are starting freezing. I will make you pay. Stop testing us now. Some of the miners went disappearing because they were eating them, yo. That's how they survived. That's how they adapted. Celestia Ludenberg once told me adaptation is the key to survival. Though, I mean, they kind of became ancient spiritual monsters. So, I mean, you take the good with the bad, I guess. Ooh, someone was climbing. Dramatic irony. We, the audience, saw that. But Mike didn't. Okay. I'm not seeing much of anything. I am really going to be leaving behind a lot of totems, huh? And clues. I was trying my best to be... Well, I know for a fact I missed something in the uh, cabin where Mike and Jess were going to bone. But I don't know what clue that... Like, what kind of clue that would have been. Like, if it was for the, um, like, 1952 or the Mystery Man or the Twins. You just love them old timey pictures. You have not figured this out yet, boy. A restrained patient seems to turn into some sort of creature and becomes violent and attacks the people making the film. Hmm. Well, let's keep going this way. Wolfie wasn't going this way. Because Wolfie knows where he's going. But I'm an explorer. I must explore. It's in my blood. Come on. Oh my god. Okay, Blackwood Sanatorium, a medical examination patient number nine, progression of skeletal hyperostosis. Butchering that. Uh, day four, epidermal dispigmentation expected after time underground, severe curvature of thoracic region, post traumatic kyphosis, corneal dystrophy, and clouding, acuity 2160. Huh. Day 9, chronic kyphosis, scarring alopecia, extreme nasal septum perforation, ectodermal dysplasia, pointing of teeth. Day 12, telogen and fulvum, not alopecia, max tally canine length 1, consistent with corneal oedemia, but acuity now 2022, epidermal toughening, stratum corneum. I am so sorry to the medical people watching this. I am just destroying everything about that. A series of photos of a miner called Billy Bates. They show transformation over several days. At the end, the miner has clearly become a Wendigo. Yep, this looks like the chair used in the old film, showing a miner turning into a Wendigo. <laughs> well, what do we have right here? Not gonna lie, first time playing, I was like, so not about to send Mike into here alone, away from Wolfie, but it's actually fine. Minor spoilers, I guess. Holy shit. Who is this guy? Who cares? To whom it may concern. Oh, no. To whom it may concern. 
They were dying outside. I hear them screaming and crying. This hell is own, uh, my only legacy. God's punishment for my mistakes. Don't escape my fate. Death awaits me now. Jefferson Bragg. A suicide note signed by Jefferson Bragg. He locked himself in his safe room and took poison. Seems to be describing some sort of massacre outside. Interesting. So, yeah, essentially the miners that were trapped after the cave-in that, like, the owner of the company was trying to, like, keep hitting, you know, because of his own, like, shortcomings. Like, oh, uh, yeah, it's, it, it's dangerous. Yeah, whatever, let's send them there anyway. But, yeah, the miners were trapped there. There were 30, 12 exited because they had to do what they had to do. They had to eat to live. But they had the curse of the Wendigo in them when they were rescued and, well, yeah, they became Wendigo right here in the sanatorium. And they killed everybody. So, yeah, well, except for Jefferson Bragg, you know, he, he killed himself. I guess you could say that was caused by the Wendigo. For the most part. Whatever. Let. Wow, that stutter. Don't shoot that. It's a freaking rock. Rat, whatever. Oh, that is not a rat or a rock. Back up off me. Yeah, things are not going well. Um, go left, serpentine, as best as you can. Okay. Yeah, you never want to have, like, a straight line between you and somebody that's chasing you. Also, I'm going to have to really focus. When to go? Stop moving, you dumb. Shit! I wasn't moving. Oh, God. Wait, butterfly effect update. What? Oh. Oh, okay. I had a fail safe. All right. Why am I screwing up the don't move sections during the actual LP? This is not going to bode well <laughs> at all. Though, fun fact, if you, like, actually succeed at that don't move thing, like, you'll see a bottle that, like, starts to roll off the table near Mike and you have to catch it. That was, like, a real sneaky quick time event. But yeah, me screwing up these uh, don't move segments. Uh, Where are you? It's not looking too good for the final chapter. <laughs> Minor spoilers. Don't question it. Just keep moving. I don't see what the point is of shooting them, but, eh. I just like shooting. Screw you, dead hand. 
But yeah, I guess these are the Wendigos that the um, that old dude had uh, captured. Because he didn't want to kill them. He just wanted to, like, keep them because then, like, maybe there would have been a cure or something. Because they're still human somewhere deep down in there. These are some sneaky-ass quick-time events. Yeah, let's help you out there. Oh, shit! Better run, boy. Oh, God. Not good. I am shocked that counted. I might need to change how I'm sitting because I am not doing so well with these quick time events. I'm just coming too close. Yeah, that's important right there. We killed those Wendigo. That means their spirits were released. Okay, so we got some time to breathe. Um, that could have gone a lot better. Also, how much ammo did you really pick up there, Mike? Oh, there's nothing in here. Nothing at all. Okay. I know you still got that flashlight, boy. I can't see. Could check the preview, but... Got Audacity kind of covering half the screen, so... Can't gauge how things are looking. This seems fairly linear. I mean, I still hear some death and demons out there, but we'll we'll be fine. Hopefully, maybe, potentially, possibly. Not looking too good, especially with how bad I've been playing. Even when I go into focus time. Random thought. I would love to see this played at a GDQ. Oh, God. Come on, boy. Barricade that shit. Buy yourself some time. It worked before. Come on, Wolfie. It's right. Wolfie. Oh. Huh? Yeah, he survived, but he's not coming with me. Oh well, better fate than my main file. Wolfie died on me. Honestly, that was the death I was saddest about. Real talk. Come on. Oh no. Uh, shoot the flammables? He only shot it because he was, like, still really close to it, so... Oh, wow. They just did the Terminator right there, but 
He is not coming back. Plus, he didn't do the thumbs up, so, you know, it is what it is. I wonder if that's going to change a lot of things. Also, guess who's still alive? Am I about to control her or something? Why are you putting on random clothes that you don't know where they've been? Oh, that was just to set the mood? Okay. Come on, guys, hurry up. We gotta find Mike. Come on. Hey. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of giving out here, guys. Uh, I think maybe you should go on without me. No, that is the... No! No, Chris, we're not leaving you. We're sticking together. Mike will just have to wait. Why would you stay behind when there's freaking demons coming up out of nowhere trying to kill everybody? A new butterfly. Oh, God. All right. Um, uh, This is one of the Wendigos caged up in the sanatorium. The Wendigos must have overrun the sanatorium. Bragg's body was never found. It looks like the restricted miner was turned into a Wendigo. Or restrained and no shit. It looks like a partially transformed Wendigo. Oh, that truck and skull, okay. The Wendigos in Santori must have killed all these people. Why were they leaving graves for them? I guess out of respect. Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. I mean, that's a butterfly. Th that seems like common sense. Why would you leave somebody behind when things are this bad? I know he's hurt, but come on. But yeah, Wolfie died on me on my main file, and I'm, like, dead honest. That was, like, the worst death for me. Like, I wasn't that upset. At, I mean, I wasn't upset at all about um, Emily. Chris, Chris, Chris was kind of disappointing. That that one hurt a little. Um, Jess is like, eh, it is what it is. I was just too slow. But Wolfie, I was, I was so disappointed. I was distraught is also very hard for me to see right now <laughs> if you couldn't tell by the way I'm walking but yeah I, I just remembered this was right here tell me the future totem danger will Robinson Well, that look like somebody turning into a Wendigo. All right, just walk down the hallway. What about this? Hey, what about this? I mean, should, should we try it? Uh, it's not like we got a whole lot of choices here. Sorry, just checking how much space I'm potentially using. I'm actually doing fine on space, so this might be the best way to go about recording going forward. At least with my Elgato. Yeah, long story short, I'm using OBS to record with it instead of the actual, like, software that came with the Elgato. So who's going first? <laughs> if Vegas Movie Studio actually liked .ts files, I would just stick with the uh, Elgato software, but yeah, Vegas Studio doesn't like that, and when you use the Elgato software to convert to MP4, bad things happen, so yeah. Well, not bad, bad things, just a minor, like, desync because of constant frame rate versus variable frame rate differences and technical stuff that has absolutely nothing to do with young adults climbing down into a manhole. I'm trying, Ash. Hmm. Hey, I don't need your sass, mister. Things are kind of going bad right now. 
Stay humble. Hey, um, hey, we should close this, right? Huh? I mean, what if something's following us? Yes, fine, close it, but we gotta keep moving. Can you just catch up, please? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's go. I cannot freaking see. Flashlight, why are you not guiding me? Oh no, the batteries must be dying. Dear God, no, why? Why didn't you take some more? What the hell do batteries use? C's or D's? Hello? Who's there? Huh? Anybody? Jessica! Is it you? Personally, I would investigate, but now this is just drawing some really weird things for me, like knowing what I know about this game. You yeah, got the status update, but left behind. Ashley wouldn't leave Chris. Ashley followed the voice. These are connected? Uh, okay. Well, I mean, I never got the thing to about Chris to begin with because he was dead on my main file, but. Yeah, you know, investigate this voice because you think this might be your lost friend, Jessica. You know, Mike assumed she was dead. I'm going to not examine that and see what happens. Because this happened on my main file too. Where it was like, is that, wait a minute, I hear a voice down there, is that Jessica? But on my main file, Jessica was actually dead because I screwed up. Also, I know there's a totem here somewhere, but now we're doing this again, and like we did see that cutscene with Jessica, but unless, like, if you open this when Jessica's dead, it's actually a Wendigo, but now it's actually Jessica, but. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I do want to find that totem. Okay, I'm going to have to stand up for that. I cannot see. <laughs> Okay, it was down here. Wow. Alright, next order of business, now that I might have solved my recording problems, solve my lighting problems, because holy shit. Why? Why do Matt and Josh get all of the, like, bad totems? <laughs> like, bad things are going to happen to them. Best believe bad things are going to happen. I really don't know about that trap door. But it didn't... Yeah, I'm just gonna ignore and see what happens now that Jessica's alive. Because I can only assume opening that while she was dead would leave for, like, nothing but bad 
things. Like, she had become a Wendigo or something. Because when you find her when she's dead, it's like half her jaw is missing, and then she falls deeper into the mine. But then again, don't you have to be alive to be a Wendigo? Like, just in the... Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of confused on how Wendigos work, but okay. Ashley joined the others. Chris was... Chris was say what? So what does this have to do with being left behind? Oh, wait a minute. So then what? Chris would have... It would have been a cutscene with Chris trying to follow them or something. Then he would have heard the voice and tried to go down that pathway. So it's not Jessica down there then no matter what. I, I don't know. That one I'm not too sure about. Are you gonna at least tell everybody about your hypothesis? No, all right. Thought that might have changed now that there's more people alive, but yeah. I suppose we're never gonna make it up there. No, 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 I think I can. I think I can do it. It's like a rock wall. I'm gonna keep going. You should head back to the lodge. I've gotta get Mike. Good luck. Why are you splitting up? No good comes from that. Oh no, Joshua. And now we're Sam, who out of nowhere is a freaking rock climber. Let's go. Might have to concentrate on this. Uh, jump to outcrop. I, I don't know. Let's try to be safe about it then. No more unnecessary risks. Seriously, why is Sam just like a rock climber all of a sudden? Unless like that was alluded to at the beginning of the game. I mean, she did climb a wall in a skirt, I might add. That was actually like pretty amazing, but still. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Why jump down when there's things to examine and explore? Maybe. I can barely see again. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, maybe she is used to this. I mean, she has the freaking, like, headband flashlight thing. <laughs> but she's the type of person that just has the GoPro strapped. Oh, God. Jesus. Just the GoPro strapped at all times, like, yeah, parkour, motherfuckers. All right. I just want to see what's down here. Cause there does seem to be a point of no return going on at this little area. What the? Okay then. Oh yeah, one thing I will say about this and it's, I guess you can take it as a spoiler. Well, first let me see this. Okay, um, what? That is indeed Sam. Um,
Okay, then. <laughs> that I was not expecting. Because, <laughs> yeah, like, when I was initially exploring here, I was like, oh, yeah, that looks like main, um, like, main path. So let me explore over here first, and this happens. So, yeah. But, um, yeah, minor spoiler, I guess, because it never gets addressed. But with all this, like, Native American imagery that's going on, you would have thought that would have played a bigger role. Like, maybe old dude actually was, like, part of the tribe that used to, like, stay on this mountain or something. And they were trying to warn everybody about the wind go from the get go. I don't know. But yeah, like the game starts off making a big deal about the Native American imagery with, with the uh, like totems and like the butterflies and what they represent and even like the Native American artifacts you find and stuff. And they don't play into the story like at all. I don't, I don't know. I just found that a little weird. I don't know. Part of me... Okay. I was about to say I couldn't aim that low. Huh. Sam rescued Mike in the mine as a... Huh, but... Okay, cuz... Like, on my main file... Like, when I was Mike in the sanatorium... I just kept shooting the Wendigos or shooting the Wendigos and then he got overrun and was like being pinned down by one of them. And then when I was Sam, I got out of the mine. I explored like part of the outside area. And then I made my way to the sanatorium and I saved Mike. So by blowing up the sanatorium early, does that mean I miss out on some clues? I can't remember if I found anything outside as Sam. Uh, define all right. Alive, for a start. Yeah, yeah, life's good. Yeah. What the hell are you doing here anyway? I was gonna warn you about the Wendigos. I think I got it. Yeah. Let's find a way down to where this fucker lives. Huh. Um. Okay. The Skillful Wolf Man. Cool. Um, well, that was an abrupt ending to the chapter, but I believe I might have missed out on some outside stuff with Sam. Then I don't know. But yeah, I forgot what points I was trying to make before all of that happened. Like, I think I finished the point about the Native American imagery thing. Not playing a big role into the story whatsoever. Um, yeah, I, I got, I, I got nothing. I, I completely forgot what I was talking about before that happened. I did mention about saving Mike and I, I don't know, but, uh, yeah, that's it for that chapter. Things are getting intense indeed. Will we be able to save Josh or is he already dead? He had like three different like danger and death totems going on. So, I mean, you know, lost and all that junk. Um, will Emily, ugh, Ashley and Chris be able to make it back to the lodge safe and sound? What is up with Jessica and where the hell has Drake gone? Not, not Nathan Drake. He's, he's chilling with Sam. Will they be able to find Josh in time? Did I already question that? I believe I did. But yeah, where is Drake? Black dude. Like, he, he, he's kind of missing. Like, he, he just disappeared. He saved his own ass, and now it's like, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and chill or take a little nap. You know, maybe write my next song. It is what it is. So, yeah, all that and more will probably be answered next time because it's the final chapter of the game. So, thank you all for watching. Have a great day. See you next time for the finale of Let's Play Until Dawn. Goodbye.